What's up, everybody? It's Coach Adam here from the Centralized Strength and Conditioning. Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2024, and I'm on week 133 of my own personal fitness journal. Uh, I guess you could call this a journal entry. My 133 video journal entry, I guess. But anyways, uh, I do this journal to really keep myself accountable on track of the goals that I want to keep. And uh, it really allows me to look back, zoom out, and make sure that I'm doing everything, keeping everything on track, and not getting too caught up in the weeds. So let's uh, dive into it. So my ultimate goals for this year, 2024, are to max out my physique, my fitness levels, and my athleticism. Ultimately, I would like to improve my body composition to increase overall muscle mass to about 160 pounds. So typically, I'm about 155 pounds once I uh, lean out, uh, but I'd like to be leaned out and be about 160 pounds. So I definitely got still a little bit more work to do. The one thing I was running into over this past year is I haven't been able to uh, work out as uh, intensely as I used to. I kind of hurt myself being stupid, doing too much weight uh, because I just i am not as strong as uh, I used to be, I guess. Uh, and that probably happened because I took, oh, I moved to uh, South Carolina, took a little bit of time off from my uh, real true strength and conditioning. Um, and then you know, I tweaked my hip doing some single leg squats and that really uh, set me back. And then I was doing too many sprints and I just uh, really uh, hurt my right side. So I'm kind of recovering from that, trying not to uh, gain too much weight. So instead of doing more workouts, I was doing more uh, fitness, more conditioning, more daily uh, activity. So I kind of had to dial it back from the athleticism stuff. So I haven't really been able to do any pickleball. I've only really been doing surfing. I haven't swung a golf club in a bit uh, because every time I do those things, I kind of just set myself back. So I'm really trying to uh, focus on uh, healing a bit. And this week it has been a lot better. I noticed that new shoes have really helped my feet uh, and my hamstring. And it's probably in conjunction with also uh, really rolling out the right hamstring. So I do a hamstring stretch and I'll put a uh, tennis ball underneath my leg to really get a good, uh, to really dig into those uh, tight muscles in the right side. And then yesterday I went for a longer walk and I've noticed that this morning my my glute, well, my piriformis, my butt and my hamstring are a little bit tender. So I'll probably have to spend a little bit of time warming that up today. Uh, so that's just kind of where I'm at now, starting to increase the intensity a little bit on the exercises. I was able to do... Um, Basically, the full workout, I'm not doing anything heavy for squats or anything. I'm not doing a sled push or sled pulls or anything because that has been tweaking my calf and the hamstring. Uh, but overall, this is probably the best week that my hip and my leg has felt. So I just got to keep that up. And I'm going to contribute that to uh, getting into a better routine with these workouts and also kind of figuring out uh, the stretches and the stretches have, uh, I guess, been since I've been doing the stretches for a while, now they're starting to uh, make an impact. And especially the stretches in conjunction with some of the uh, soft tissue work on that right side has been a big help. Uh, so I kind of talked about my physique and my fitness levels there. I've been doing a lot for fitness. The athleticism this month has been the first month that I've been doing consistent athletic workouts, so power and speed stuff at least twice a week. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and then 
Um, also would like to do some testing eventually. And the test that I like to do is the two mile bike test on the assault bike, try to get sub 515 for myself. And then uh, some athleticism. I like to do a vertical jump again and do some sprints. So I'd have to build myself back up to doing sprints and that might be quite some time. I just can't bite off more than I can chew. Uh, so I don't set myself back. So in terms of some diet stuff here, I eat about 3.25 thousand calories a day. I eat a salt, oil, and sugar-free diet. So all the salts and oils are either from the food naturally or I'll add some high-quality salt. And I don't really eat any foods that have any added sugar to them. They're all natural sugar. So I've been doing good with coffee. Um... I try to only drink coffee you know, in the morning, uh, and I haven't gotten the biggest size at Starbucks anymore, so I only get the medium or the small, and I put honey in my coffee as well. And then I really need to focus on the hydration, especially since I drink coffee and uh, active, and I like to do the sauna a few times a week. I've noticed that the hydration is an issue. Uh, and the other thing I've noticed this week, too, since kind of cutting back on coffee, I've been eating uh, food earlier in the day. So some days I was cooking like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on having a bowl and then saving the rest for later on. And that was giving me some good amount of energy because my personal training schedule switching. I'm doing some later clients, so I have uh, kind of like the afternoon, a few hours in the early afternoon open. So that's when I'll eat something and maybe take a nap and uh, recharge. And the other thing I want to do too is incorporate more skill-based activities like the more surfing, more pickleball, more golf, uh, pool, darts, something like that. So I got to get out there and do some of that stuff. The only problem with the darts and the pool is they're typically only at bars. And I'm trying not to drink and go down that avenue. Uh, so I have to figure that out. Let's move on to this slide. This is how not to reach my goals. Um, quite simply, I look at, um, well, this is kind of a page out of the Charlie Munger book where um, we try not to do things that will uh, have catastrophic endings. So whenever I train through pain, especially the lower body, I tend to set myself back. So I just, if I'm not feeling it on the right side, if my shoulder's a little bit tight, my neck's bothering me, I can just take it easy on that side. I don't have to do anything. Uh, so that's something I have to constantly remind myself not to do anything stupid. And I need to remember that uh, I'm not at the same uh, strength, fitness, athleticism level that I was, you know, five years ago, basically. So that has been a bit of a tough pill to swallow as well. And that's probably why I kind of hurt myself doing something stupid. Um, the other thing is, if uh, I continue to eat processed foods... I just won't be able to reach my composition goals. And it's just not great for, you know, just a, just being productive, being healthy. Uh, I'm trying to give my body the best fuel, my en my engines, the best fuel, my brain, the best fuel, basically. And I find that a process-free diet of, uh, free of added salts, oils, and sugars, especially processed salts, oils, and sugars. I try to not eat any of those. Really, the only time I have something that's kind of processed is if I go out and I have a IPA or something. So that's probably kind of like a cheat food for me. And I always, I kind of consider coffee a cheat food as well. But I've been doing really good with the coffee. I've noticed that if I drink too much coffee, uh, especially since I'm really active and I do the sauna, I tend to get dehydrated. And that just makes me low energy. So i got to be careful with that. And i got to be careful with falling asleep past 10 p.m. If 
I'm not in bed between 9 and 10, then uh, it's going to be tough for me to get my 6 to 8 hours of sleep because basically I wake up around 4 o'clock every single day. So let's go on to my diet report. This is my Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I've got my body weight. I track calories, um, uh, protein, steps, and uh, I have some notes for the workouts I did and uh, you know, nutrition, some injuries or bad habits. So my average body weight's been about 157 pounds. Um, my calories been 3,291, so right on track between 32 and 3,500, protein 235 grams, so I'm trying to eat at least my body weight in grams of protein, and then uh, since I do work out a lot and my goal is muscle mass, I do tend to eat a little bit more protein, so I really only need to eat about 200 grams protein, and then I have a well-rounded uh, diet other than that. Uh, the steps have been kind of low recently because I haven't been walking as much because of the uh, right leg. So I've been doing more bike, more sauna. Uh, that's what I've been doing instead of the walk. And so I'm trying to do less invasive lawn uh, term uh, cardio. And then my sleep has been pretty good for this past week. I just got to make sure I had one or two days where... Uh, I did, I was in bed before 10, but I didn't really fall asleep until a little bit after 10. And then I, like I said, I wake up right around four o'clock and I noticed that I was taking some naps kind of early in the day. So I'll typically take, you know, a 45 minute, hour and a half nap almost every single day and just lie down. Uh, and then I'll go, it kind of breaks up the beginning of the day and then the second part of the day. So, so I kind of, think about the naps. I think naps are cool. I think uh, for a long time, I kind of talked myself out from naps because it was weak or something like that, but it's perfectly fine to take naps. So let's finish up with my workout and activities. Uh, I'm in October. We're in the October program for the Charleston Strength and Conditioning Club. And today, uh, we have, well, we do a Monday workout, which is always the same workout. It's uh, Muscle Mondays. We do 20 to 30 reps of the classic movements, push-ups, TRX rows, body weight squats, two-legged hip lifts, or uh, we could also do a sled push as well. Uh, and we do some core exercises. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays is a full strength and conditioning. We do a full warm-up, power, core uh, circuit. Then we get into a strength workout. We're doing five to eight reps for most exercises. And then uh, we try to finish it with some conditioning. And then uh, Fridays is a arm party workout. And then Wednesdays I've been doing a uh, uh, workout as well. So this is probably the first week that I've done something Monday through Friday. Typically on Wednesdays I won't do a workout, but I did this week. So that's good. Um, so what I do every day, I do a warm-up every day. I spend about 45 minutes on some self-massage and some stretching. I've noticed that my body's been feeling a lot better, so I haven't had to focus as much time. But I'll typically uh, maybe do one to two uh, self-care workouts a day almost. And then I do 30 to 60 minutes of activity uh, on a cardio machine a sport or it could be some type of sauna and then I'm doing two full strength and conditioning workouts a week and then I have the muscle focused workouts on Mondays and Fridays and that's really kind of how the week goes uh, so that's going to kind of wrap it up for me today pretty successful week the, the body's feeling a lot better so I just got to keep on track of that and uh, not bite off more than I can chew. So until next time, like and subscribe, leave a comment, stay safe, and keep grinding.